Today, I'm reviewing the Liveall LTS21 Pro Open Earbuds, earphones, headphones. I'm not really quite sure what to call them, so I'm gonna go with earbuds. They are the world's first detachable open ear, truly wireless earbuds that are marketed for those individuals who are active outdoors and want to keep their situational awareness while having great sound and microphone capabilities. Liveall did send them out to me in exchange for this here review to highlight them going live on Indiegogo. So the sooner you get on that train, the better, as you can save 36 to 40% off the retail price. As always, getting this product for free will not bias my opinion in any way, shape, or form. I'm not getting any type of compensation or commission for this, just simply highlighting them. These earbuds come in two colors and two different models. The first is Sport, which comes with the earbuds, head bracket, and charging case, which looks to retail for $135, but as, this, as of this video, you can get it for $79. The second is the Pro version, which I have today, which gives you the same thing as the Sport, but includes a helmet bracket mount and bracket. It retails for $150, but currently is $89 if you get it on Indiegogo. They also provide me with the Live All portable bag, which will come included for free for the first 1,000 backers. Currently, as of me writing this script, it looks like there are 284 backers, so make sure to get on Indiegogo to back it ASAP to claim that, as you'll definitely want it. Last, I was also given the Liveall BR80 remote controller, which cost $30. Okay, so I'm done with the ad segment, and we are moving on to the actual review. So, let's get nerdy. And I use ad segment in quotes, because it's not an actual ad, because they're not paying me, but it sounded like an ad. Anyways, moving on to the build quality, all of the parts feel high quality and premium. They use the same coating for everything, which allows the feel and look to be the same across all attachments. The material feels like a matte rubber that is soft, semi-grippy, and prevents scratches and smudge as well. I'm also digging the cream color and minimalistic design going on here. As mentioned, there are two parts that come with the Pro variant. I'm going to dub them the helmet attachment and head attachment. I know, I'm great at naming things. You don't need to tell me twice. You need to attach the earbuds to one or the other attachment before for each use, the issue is that the earbuds have a huge touch center on the front of the device, which you tend to press every time you're taking them on or off, which activates settings. This isn't the best design and may get frustrating. I would have preferred a button on the bottom like you see with the Bose Open Sport. The head attachment is supposed to match your ear's natural curve. This does appear to be the case when wearing. It is very comfortable and can be worn for a long period of time without discomfort, making it perfect for marathons or extended use. The bracket does stick out in the back, but if you angle it downward, you're able to actually lay your head flat on things, making them viable for weightlifting or leisure. Due to the design, you can hear things the same as you would if you weren't wearing earbuds, which is the main draw and idea behind these. However, I did notice it provides very mild noise isolation as the earbuds themselves sit directly in front of your ear, which blocks some external sound. But this is me splitting hairs. They state that the tension joint can be disassembled over 2,000 times, which is good because you'll be doing that every time you use it. Each joint is made of a durable plastic that is flexible flexible and shouldn't break easily. With the matte rubber material, it is soft and grippy, which means that once the head attachment is placed, it pretty much stays there, even with vigorous activity. You can wear it with glasses, but I changes the position mildly, making it a bit less comfortable. The helmet attachment looks super sleek and matches the rose gold accents of the earbuds perfectly. It comes with 3M sticky pads pre-installed so you can attach it to your helmet. In case you screw up, it comes with four additional 3M pads. This allows you to be able to wear a helmet, glasses, and the earbuds comfortably while riding, which is a win in my my book. The helmet attachment can swivel as it has two dedicated notches, one at 45 degrees and the second at 90 degrees. The earbuds themselves are packed with tech, which includes 16.2 millimeter premium speakers, which has directional acoustic tech that shoots audio into your ear for better sound and less sound leakage. You can see how they do this by the speaker here on the inside rear and on the bottom towards the front are angled towards your ear canal. I found that if you have volume at 100% in a quiet room, you can hear it as a third party if you are close, but at less than 75% you can't and if there's any type of noise going on in that same room you wouldn't be able to anyways. So their claims of having good sound leakage are accurate. It has Bluetooth 5.2 which can connect to your device extremely fast and auto adjust for latency. Surprisingly you can use either bud individually even though that would be kind of awkward as the head attachment is a single unit. I guess you could always just hold it up to your ear which would also be kind of weird. Anyways they have an 85 milliamp hour battery which supports up to 12 hours of play which is nuts but makes sense as these are made for marathons or outdoor exercise. With IP64 rating, it makes it so you can't use these as an excuse to stop your exercise in the middle of a dust storm or in the rain. They also have two high quality silicone microphones on each earbud for a total of four to help isolate your voice during phone calls. They are lightweight at 24 grams. I think aesthetically they look great and are minimalistic. Attaching it to the different attachments isn't very smooth and comes off as jerky, but once attached, don't go anywhere, which I think is worth the trade.
They do have touch controls, which I'll throw up on the screen right now. They work just fine by being close to the just right, by not being too sensitive or not being sensitive enough. They connect to each other extremely fast, less than a second. Each earbud has an LED that you only see when turning it on or when pairing. Personally, I would love to see an additional attachment for these, mostly something like what the Bose Open Sport earbuds have, which also means that you wouldn't look like a fool trying to use just one earbud at a time. As for the case, I like it a lot. For open earbuds, the case isn't all that big, but when comparing them to earbuds, it is. But it looks and feels great. It is very smooth for opening and closing, but there aren't any magnets to hold it closed. Instead, they rely on a hinge to require more pressure upon first opening to about the halfway point to keep it shut. The hinge appears to be mostly plastic, which to me is a bit concerning, as I think the likelihood of them opening in a bag is high. If you had bad luck, it, they could break. The earbuds themselves are held in magnetically, snap into place with mildish force, meaning they would likely come free themselves if they were to open in a bag. There's an LED smack in the middle of it that notifies that the buds have attached and are charging. You don't get any LEDs on the earbuds themselves when attached or anything that shows the current charge of the case itself, which is something that I don't personally like. They report the case has an 800 milliamp hour battery that provides an additional 48 hours of charge for a total of 60 hours. It does have USB-C charging. I didn't have these earbuds long enough to accurately test the battery life, so I'm going to off the marketing material here. The BR80 remote is neat. At first, it looks like it's supposed to attach to your wrist, but instead it attaches to the handlebars for, of your bicycle for control of your earbuds, which is a nice feature. It has several types of controls that I'll put on the screen right now. Each of the buttons has mild pre slash post travel with strong spring back force, creating a satisfying click. It feels well put together and works well. Once you press a button, it automatically pairs to the earbuds for control, but there is no power off. It takes a watch battery, which you can replace yourself. I would have preferred an ability to turn it on slash off in a way to see if it is working or not, as there aren't really any LEDs other than the very center. There's a white one that's hard to see. Liveall has a smart app for your phone, but as of this review, they haven't updated it to support these earbuds yet. However, it looks like you'll be able to connect the earbuds and the BR80 remote to the app, which then allows you to walkie-talkie to other users with the same setup as you, so you can chat and let them know where to go. Which sounds epic if it ends up working, especially the chat feature where I could be cruising along and still talking to my workout buddies would be awesome, or even teammates if you're going hard and that is allowed in competition. My biggest complaint is that these are supposed to be portable, but the carrying case isn't included, which is fine for the helmet attachment as it's going to stick with your helmet, but where do you put the head attachment as it just kind of floats in the ether, never really belonging anywhere? Poor guy, I feel bad for him. You may think, oh, I'll just keep them attached, and you'd be wrong, because the only way to power these suckers off is to put them in the case. Additionally, the market is saturated with in-ear earbuds with a bunch of fancy tech and sensors, which are completely absent on these. Granted, this is like comparing apples and oranges, as when you compare these to other open earbuds, they do kind of excel, or at least in comparison to the Bose Open Sport which I also own, as I pick these up as they wipe the floor with those by giving you a better bang for your buck, such as better battery life, an actual charging case, arguably butter, better sound, better comfort, more lightweight, better touch controls, and more options, which means this is a niche product, and if you don't hit that target demographic, then they won't appeal to you. But I think they're perfect for those who run, cycle, or do scenic yoga, outdoors, or even certain commuters, or people who want to use it in their place of work. As for the sound quality, I think we need to start this off by tempering our expectations. The sound you get from earbuds, actual over-the-ear headphones, and open earbuds are all dramatically different in the way that they deliver sound to your ear. Open earbuds, due to the design, tend to not have as good of sound quality, most with a complete lack of bass, poor imaging, and inability to hear the nuances of music. This, as you guessed, follows the same trend, but performs great compared to other open earbuds. I'd say the bass is above average by being present and accurate, but very mild. You can hear the main themes of the songs easily, and instruments and vocals sound good. These really excel with vocals, vocals being very rich and accurate, but the very tops and bottoms of vocals are muted, meaning you get most of it, but not all of it, which I wouldn't expect from these. This makes them perfect for podcasts and audiobooks. Imaging is nearly non-existent, and I can't hear nuances or the heavily layered elements of songs, which again is to be expected on this type of earbud. Volume is good. I find that if you have a lot of noise that it's hard to use these. At, for example, if the outer DB is 80, then the headphones need to be as loud or louder, which is why in-ear earbuds, especially those with noise canceling, better for loud environments to help see, save your hearing so you're not blowing it out by having things too loud. In the end, I think the sound is comparable to the Bose Open Sport earbuds. However, I would give a slight win to the bows as I think they're just a little bit clearer. They have a little bit better bass and they have better imaging 
and directional quality, which is kind of lacking on these. Moving on to the microphone quality, these support environmental noise cancellation, which helps eliminate the noise around you and focuses on your voice. I found that it does a good job at making the background noise disappear. However, I find the microphone quality to be adequate where it will get the job done if needed, but came across as rather tinny. Here's, an, here's some example that I recorded on my phone so you can make up your own mind. Hello, this is a test of the Livall microphone while I'm driving to my car with a whole bunch of road noise and things like that. I wanted to see how it sounds, so we're about to find out when you listen back to this. Thing. Hello and welcome. My name is Thomas, and today I am trying out the Livall or Livall I'm pretty sure I just said the same thing twice in a row. LTS21 multifunctional sports headphones. I'm going to see how the microphone stacks up on these guys. I'm actually kind of uh, digging this whole thing. It's um, carrying case is really nice. It's pretty compact. It's got a lot of cool things. Uh, yeah. Interested to see testing this thing. On to the conclusion, if you are a long distance runner or cyclist, these are a fantastic option and were literally made for you, as they can be worn for a long periods without any discomfort, have a 12 hour battery life, and allow you to stay fully aware of your surroundings, allowing you to add a little bit more entertainment to your workouts. They work well for HIT training or similar as they stay in place without getting in the way, but if you are doing certain weight lifting that requires you to lay your head flat on something, you'll need to make sure to actually push the thing down or they're going to get in the way and move them. I would also like them to come with a new attachment that just goes over one ear, so you could use one earbud at the time, and that would also be more perfect for those activities where you're on your back more often. They also work great for going out for a walk or using them at work, as you can easily hear what's going on around you in case somebody is trying to get your attention or you need to pay attention to something else while keeping your audio to yourself. These scenarios also eliminate the issue with trying to find a place for the head attachment, as you could just leave it in your workout bag with your helmet or at work. However, if you are looking for earbuds that are highly portable, then in-ear earbuds will be better. If you're staying in a singular place and don't need to hear what's going on around you, over-the-ear headphones will be best. Like, dislike, share, subscribe if you'd like. Otherwise, I will see you and your beautiful face on the next one. God bless and peace out.